Hi guys, you are welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you very much for always coming out here. Please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you have not. Thank you very much once again. May God bless you all. Human rights activist Aisha Yusuf has said the presidential candidate of the new Nigerian People's Party, Rabiu Kwan Kwasu, should have agreed to be the running mate of Labour Party candidate, Mr. Peter Obi, the former Anambra State Governor. Yusuf noted this in an interview with Sunday Punch. According to Aisha Yusuf, Obi is more competent and has wider acceptance than Kwan Kwasu on the alliance talk that collapsed between NNPP and Labour Party. Aisha Yusuf said, Obi should have been the candidate and Kwan Kwasu the running mate. This is not about age or who is older. With what is on ground now, Peter Obi is more competent. And we have had eight years of a Northern being a president. So it is only fair for the presidency to move to the other part of the country to maintain a balance. If they win the election with the current arrangement, it will go back to the North. And Kwan Kwasu could contest. Also, if you look at it in terms of the rich right now, Peter Obi has a wider reach than Kwan Kwasu. Setting the case of the former president, Barack Obama, who had Joe Biden, who was much, way much older than Obama as his vice president in the United States of America. She said the 2023 presidential race should not be about age and self-interest. I think at every moment, it should not be about our selfish interest. It should be about what is good for the nation and people should be able to read the mood of their environment. Something is going on. The Nigerian youth are rallying around Peter Obi. So there is a momentum work that is being built around him. She therefore warned politicians saying, Obi has no political structures to win the 2023 presidential election to have a rethink because they are doing that at their own prey. According to her, Nigerians supporting Obi are taking ownership of the environment already, funding this campaign without waiting for him to bring money. People are supporting him and they are taking ownership of the moment. It is not even an obese movement. It is a movement that has taken a life of its own. They are saying enough is enough of just waiting that the politicians should do the right thing. What have the structures they have had all these years produced other than bloodshed, mayhem, and grief? People are tired of that and they want to build their own structures and they are doing it. So it is their own prey to think Obi does not have structure. And this and the supporters are only in the social media. People are talking to one another. They understand that they are the structure and they are putting in their they are putting in their all. For years, I have been saying to people that whatever we do, we must ensure we are putting our money where our votes are. And it is so grateful to see Nigerians do that. She said, hmm, well, this is, this is just, you know, this is just it. You understand? One question think is about age. It's about the years you have occupied office. It's about religion. It's about all that and all that. But he got it wrong. And this is where he has tied himself. We are trying to run away from people like that who feel that uh, Nigeria belongs to, to them, a particular region. We are trying to, you know, come out from that because it's not helping us at all. The thing don't help collapse this country because if they talk, say, the, the, the Southeast, they got only 5% votes. So do you have to, do you have to, do, 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 do you have to, you know, start punishing them for that? That means you are not a leader. A leader is, is a liberal person. You understand? In politics is all game. If you enter for you, you take them. Say because these people don't vote for you, they can't turn your enemy. It's not good.
You understand? That is that has caused you know the agitations in the southeast. Now, Kwan Kwasu coming out to tell us that because of IPOB agitations, the the northern voters will not vote for Peter Obi, and coming back to think of the years he has occupied office compared to Mr. Peter Obi, no, he cannot be Obi's running mate. Either Obi is supposed to be his running mate, and that was what collapsed the emergence and all that. But today, Peter Obi have gotten another competent and intellectual person, the person of um, Baba Dati, Baba Ahmed, is Peter Obi's running mate. So what Yusuf is trying to say here is that those who are saying that uh, Labour Party uh, presidential candidate Mr. Peter Obi is going nowhere because he does not have structure, they are lying because Nigerians, you know, they are the structure already. Nigerian youths are already building the structure. That is the truth. And they are going to be surprised. They will be shocked what is going to happen. We are tired now. The, the, the parties won't get structures for all these years, which they don't do for us. What have they brought to the table? They have brought agony. They have brought sorrow. They have brought poverty. Everything. You understand? So we are not looking at that side. Again, we are tired. We want to be free people. We want to, you know, be that kind, uh, that person where you are traveling. You will relax. You carry your phone. You read. You watch videos without being afraid that someone is going to come out from the bush to come attack you. We want to be that person that when you sleep, you don't care whether your 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 doors have a, a whatever a, a, a security or whatever to protect you and your family. You just sleep. Farmers will go to their farm freely. You understand? Do their work and come back, come back without problem. That is the kind of Nigeria we want. So those of you who are clapping for uh, APC and PDP, make una continue. Make una continue. Me, I go clear my conscience. So that tomorrow, when the matter don't come again, if then they talk, I go they smile and say, God, even if I sit there like this, I, I not put my hand. You understand? So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you have not. Thank you very much for this coming out here. God bless you. Bye for now.